Okay, so after a, a splendid night's sleep, I am awake. I had to wash all of my gear uh, when I took a shower, so I took all my stuff in there with me. Everything seems no worse for wear, except for this uh, trailer tire. I, apparently, I lost a spoke, which, uh, which I'll need to get repaired. I've never replaced a spoke, which is wild because I'm doing a bicycle tour around the world. So I'm going to have to find a bike shop to help me out with that. Um, the trike is downstairs. Uh, they wouldn't allow me to bring it in the room. It was so dirty. So I, uh, it's in the cloak room. So I'm gonna take it and uh, see if I can find a way to wash it as well. And uh, I have no idea what Ganjo is. Uh, I know it's a city, but I mean, I don't know what it is about and uh, what's special here. Um, it was late when I got here, so, and I wasn't quite in the mood to sightsee, <laughs> obviously. So I think this is my chance to get out and see what's going on with the city. Hopefully I can do some video editing. And uh, I had a nice ride last night. It was cool. Nighttime riding, uh, mountains, uh, messed up roads, uh, construction, potholes, rain, thunder, villages, cities. Woof. A little bit of everything. And I broke the 100, uh, 100 mile mark, uh, 195 kilometers. Whew. Pretty impressive. I have one dirty bike and it's time to clean it so it looks so nice when it's clean but it kind of looks cool when it's dirty too. Okay, basically, good as new, right? Now I gotta try and get the tire fixed. Self. Always roll your pants if you're wearing loose pants. My uh, my, my pants derailed my uh, my chain. This <laughs> 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 The crew at the Ganjo Giant Bicycle Store really got a kick out of my trike. It's not something they see every day. So a, uh, a bike spoke is only as good as the bike spoke uh, you have in stock. So <laughs> they don't have the length I have. I'm going to have to see if I can find one. I always find a giant bicycle store to be the safest place to start and go from there always good people on staff to help you with whatever you might need and going out of their way if they have to and in this case it was no exception 
One of their crew took charge and set out to help me with my spoke problem. In China, most cities don't have larger big box retailers. Instead, they have many small garage sized businesses with a mess of parts that you need to sift through in order to find what you're looking for. So I'm at a little bike shop and they don't have the size spoke that I want, but I, I, I talked to the guy, I think that maybe we can take a longer spoke and then just bend it so that it'll, it'll at least grasp for a little while until I can order some more of the correct size. Okay, so uh, I spent the day, uh, my first day in Ganjo here at uh, the Giant Store and there's some really good people here and uh, they were able to repair the bike spoke in my trailer tire in a uh, unique way. They actually took a longer one and just bent it over, which was a good idea, and they gave me a couple of extras. I also tried to adjust the, um, the toe of my, uh, of my bike. It's, it's, it's kind of uh, moving a little bit to the left when I ride it, so I, I tried to investigate that, and uh, what else did I do? Check my brakes. Just did a real once over on it, and now I'm confident, so uh, I can continue going. Jail. With my mission accomplished for the day, I made my way back to the hotel. Back to a pleasant surprise. So I am in Ganjo. This is my second day here. And uh, yesterday I, uh, I was having breakfast and I came back from breakfast and I was rummaging through my stuff, cleaning and whatnot, and I heard a knock on the door. Anybody home? <laughs> I'm here. Surprise! I asked you, I told you, hey, there's a big airport there. Many times. And are you gonna stay there for a few days? Spend your weekend? You said yes. Then I decided to buy the tickets in 2 a.m. Spend eight hours to come here. Almost reach USA. So we are uh, we are now um, in Ganjo, having some coffee in the morning, and the giant store that uh, was so nice to me yesterday has decided to help me out and, and lend Annie a, a bike and she's gonna ride along with me today and we're gonna see some of the sights of Ganjo and uh, see uh, see what what the city has to offer. So today's uh, chapter is uh, Ganjo by Bike and Trike. Ganjo is green, lush, and surprisingly modern. I got a feeling of cleanliness from the city, but that's not to say that it was culturally barren. There are a number of places in the city that you can visit to give you a little insight into the city's past. Okay, so the first uh, Ganjo sightseeing destination is the floating bridge that's connecting the two sides of this river together. It's not the original, it was, it was rebuilt in 2007 to resemble the original bridge that linked the two sides of the riverbank. But uh, it's one of those places that uh, seems like you have to visit when you're in Ganjo, so I'm going to take a walk across the bridge. It's rebuilt using the old ancient techniques, which are wooden skiffs with the bridge segments that are made of wood on top, and then they're linked together forming a floating style bridge so that if the water goes up or down, the bridge can adjust automatically to uh, suit those, uh, those situations.
Uh, Ganzhou, a lot like uh, major cities in China, had a wall erected around it for protection back in the old days. Today, you have the wall that still exists. It's probably rebuilt mostly, but you have gates like this one behind me where people would enter the city, you know, from all parts of the area to, to do business here in Ganzhou. So, uh, it's kind of interesting to have this kind of historical landmarks in every one of these cities that you go to. It's, it's, uh, each one is a little bit different, but they all kind of symbolize the same thing, that China's very old. And back in the day, you needed things like big concrete walls to protect yourself from the outside. This is one of the cultural differences between China and America. I mean, in China they, they eat these turtles that uh, we find cute and cuddly. <laughs> but here you can make turtle soup with them. When I first got here I felt like I wanted to buy them all and just release them in the river, but it didn't work. Cool, huh? Yeah. Cool. So, what's so special about this place? This street called uh, It's just old building. They have three type of building in the one street. I don't know what is that, but I search on internet said they're very famous.
from the outside of the wall at the base, you can find that the bricks on the outside, some of them are pretty small, some of them are big. Like this is the outside of that Colosseum looking thing. Gancho is, is a mixture of, uh, of interior city, uh, metropolis, and uh, got, got a lot of uh, ancient kind of places too. I don't know, it's, it's a good mix. I think a foreigner would have a good time here. Did you play this game when you were a kid? No. So that's a short cycling tour of Ganjo's interior city. Uh, we're basically around the center of the city. And you could do this in almost uh, like a half a day, you know, if you were riding a cycle. Uh, I'm sure there's more to see here. And uh, there, there definitely is more to see on the outside of the city, which is a place I'd like to go to, go to before we leave, which is a, like a cave, a cavern, and, and mountains that are on the outskirts of the city. So we'll, we'll check some of that out later. But, but here you've got a little peek into what's going on in the interior of the city, as well as uh, everyday life, like, like what everybody's doing here, which is just, you know, having fun and spending time with their kids or uh, enjoying, enjoying the outdoors. Thank <laughs> you.